In the ethereal world beneath the waves, a realm often more alien than our wildest dreams, reigns a king and queen unlike any other. These are not monarchs of flesh and bone, but creatures of scales and spines, rulers of the underwater realm. The king, the mighty great white shark, is the embodiment of power and speed, a living torpedo that rules the open oceans. His white underbelly, for which he is named, acts as a camouflage against predators and prey alike, hiding him against the sunlit surface when viewed from below. His razor-sharp teeth, the stuff of nightmares and legend, are not only his primary weapon but also his shield, deterring any who dare to challenge his reign. In contrast, our queen is a creature of mystery and beauty, the majestic giant Pacific octopus. Her reign lies in the dark abyss of the ocean floor. The queen's defense is not in her strength, but her cunning and adaptability. Her ability to change her skin's color and texture in an instant, mimicking her surroundings, makes her nearly invisible to predators. If discovered, she can eject a cloud of ink, blinding her foes while she makes her escape. Together, these two magnificent creatures rule their realms, their defense mechanisms as diverse as the territories they govern. The king, with his brute strength and speed, intimidates and overwhelms, while the queen, with her camouflage and cunning, deceives and confounds. Yet, despite their seeming invincibility, they are not immune to the threats posed by their greatest adversary man. Climate change, pollution and overfishing are daily challenges they must face, threats even their impressive defenses cannot combat. In the grand tapestry of the underwater world, the king and queen stand as testaments to nature's diversity and adaptability. From the king's powerful jaws to the queen's cunning disguise, their stories remind us of the wonders that lie beneath the waves and the importance of preserving them for future generations. So let us marvel at the king and queen of the underwater world, celebrate their strengths and respect their domains. For in the end, we are all subjects in the kingdom of nature.